Hello people, in this video let us look at this uh, radial keratotomy. So kerato is what? Cornea, referring to the cornea, right? So radial, so they are showing some radial uh, cuts here, tomy. So some kind of cuts, right? So radial cuts were in the cornea. So this is radial keratotomy. You know what cornea is, right? So if this is the eye, the anterior portion, what you are seeing, that is the cornea. This is the anterior most, right? <clears throat> so, cornea is avascular. It doesn't have any blood supply. So, it is transparent. So, that is cornea. Now, in this cornea, they are going to make some cuts, radial cuts. So, some cuts, right? Why are they making the cuts? Let us see. So, basically, this is a very old uh, thing. It is not done now. Okay, that is what you have to remember. But, however, for exam, you will have to know this radial keratotomy. Basically, to f as a surgery to fix myopia, okay. So, myopia is what? Short sight, right. <clears throat> so, as a refractive surgery to correct, th this is a refractive error, myopia is a refractive uh, error. So, correct that, they are doing this refractive surgery. So, what is the surgery being done on? On the cornea, refractive corneal surgery, okay. In refractive errors, we have seen what? Myopia is, By basically myopia is, is what? <clears throat> the image is formed in front of the retina. So, it, so if this line is the retina, you can see the image is not forming on the retina, but it is forming in front of the retina. So, what happens? Whatever is coming from infinity, that is distant vision, it is focusing in front of the retina. So, this is what? Myopia, short-sightedness. Near whatever is there, you can see. Like you can see the dashboard and all that, but you cannot see the road. Far, far you are not able to see. So, this is short sight. Okay. So, they usually correct this with what? The concave lens. So, this is myopia. So, previously they had a surgery called as a radial keratotomy. It is not done now. This is a refractive surgery for myopia, corneal surgery. So, basically what is radial keratotomy? So, it is an operation for myopia. Here what exactly is being done? Multiple radial incisions. Multiple radial incisions are given in the periphery of the cornea, where in the periphery of the cornea, multiple radial incisions. So, <clears throat> they are giving some measurement here, leaving central 4 millimeter optical zone. So, middle they are not doing anything. So, that there is middle 4 millimeter optical zone is there, right? But they are giving multiple radial incisions, right? So, let us look at the details more. Leaving central 4 millimeter optical zone they leave. And, uh, apart from that peripheral cornea, they are giving multiple radial incisions. Why are they doing this? In order to flatten the curvature of the cornea. So, they will try to flatten the cornea. So, if cornea is this, if cornea is like this, it should become a little more flat. So, what will happen if it becomes a little more flat? It will not bend the light much, isn't it? So, it will go a little more straight and so instead of bending and focusing in front, it will go a little more and it will try to focus on the retina. So, they are trying to reduce the curvature of the cornea. They are trying to flatten it. So, here they are showing radial keratotomy, configuration of the radial incisions and the depth of the incision. Okay. Let's uh, move on. How is it going people? What are we studying? Radial keratotomy. Okay. So, where were we here? So, radial keratotomy, now they don't use. Why? Because now they have lusic and all those, right? So, radial keratotomy refers to making deep, making deep. They are saying it is deep ra radial incisions. Don't read it as a radical. It's radial incisions in the peripheral part of the cornea, leaving the central 4 millimeter optical zone. These incisions... On healing, they flatten the central cornea, thereby reducing its refractive power. Yeah, so the refractive power also gets reduced. So this procedure gives good correction in low to moderate myopia. So it gives good correction if there is low to moderate myopia. If there is high myopia, they won't give correction. But in low to moderate myopia, you will have good correction. Do you, do you know the classification of myopia? So, basically you have low, moderate, greater than 6 will be high. Greater than or equal to 6 diopters will be high. So, here what are they telling? 
So it should be within the 6. So it is low to moderate myopia. There will be correction. Okay. But because of its disadvantage, they are not using this. What are they not using? Radial keratotomy. What do they prefer now? Safer techniques like LASIK and PRK. What is PRK? Photorefractive keratectomy. In Photorefractive keratectomy. Just understand um, that here it is keratectomy. But what we are reading is keratotomy. Okay. We are not removing uh, anything. We are, it is just a cut incision, right? Keratotomy. We are doing only keratotomy. So this RK, this uh, radial keratotomy, it is not recommended presently. Why? Because of its disadvantages. Okay, and there are safer techniques like LASIK and PRK. What is the LASIK's full form? So that will be laser in situ keratomiliusis. If you go by the spelling, laser in situ keratomiliusis or miliusis. How do you want to pronounce it? Okay. So you got it right. So there are better technologies. So they basically use laser. They will uh, remove the excess uh, corneal stroma, isn't it? And this LASIK and all, even up to minus 8 diopter, etc. They can correct. Let us look at the disadvantages of RK. What is RK? Radial keratotomy. PRK is photorefractive kerat... What was that? Photorefractive keratectomy. Here RK stands for keratectomy. But here RK is radial keratotomy. Okay, when they are adding photorefractive, it is it's becoming keratectomy. And here it is refractive. Look at the word. There it is radial. Here it is refractive. So just don't get confused. Okay, now let us look at the disadvantages of RK where you are doing these kind of slits, right? So here what happens, the cornea becomes weakened. Okay, and the chances of globe rupture are more. Okay, following a trauma. Simply, some, some small trauma also can rupture the globe. Okay. So people who are in sports, athlete, uh, athletes, military person, they should be careful. Okay, so basically, globe rupture you should remember. Okay, chances of globe rupture are more. Uneven healing may lead to irregular astigmatism. So this is really bad. You are trying to correct that person's vision and you will land up giving him irregular astigmatism. Uneven healing can lead to irregular astigmatism. They can feel glare at night. At night, very specifically they are telling, they can feel glare. Okay. So that's it about... Um, Radial keratotomy, remember it is RK, what is it? It is RK and uh, it is old technique, not done nowadays. Nowadays, what do they prefer? LASIK, okay, LASIK PRK. So basically here, what are they doing? They are doing some peripheral cuts on the cornea to flatten the cornea basically. But center 4 millimeter uh, clear zone they are leaving. Then uh, but they can correct low to moderate myopia and uh, what else? Um, it is not done currently. Better techniques are available like LASIK and PRK. PRK is photorefractive keratectomy. And uh, the disadvantages of radial keratotomy are that there can be easy, easy globe uh, ruptures. Chances of globe rupture are more. Okay. in After trauma, not simply after trauma. If there is a trauma. And uneven healing can lead to irregular astigmatism and person may feel glare at night. So this is astigmatism, isn't it? We have already seen what astigmatism is. So you can see here there are more than one focal points and the person will see this type of glare, right? And especially at night only they have indicated. So all this can happen because of this RK. Radial keratotomy. So this is all we wanted to cover in this video. Hope we can meet in the next video. Bye-bye.